you know, I just finished that video and I needed to talk to you quickly about Daniela Okeke, Nigerian Nollywood. Do you guys see this? Just look at this. Look at this. This is cheapest, cheapest uh, plastic surgery you can ever think of. Who wants to be walking around looking like that? And why is it important that black women that are already blessed with curves will go out there to try to inj to try to do extraordinary things to their figure to their shape just to look the way this woman is looking this is so absurd oh my god did you guys see that this has to go when you do cheap plastic surgery let me tell you guys don't get me wrong go if i get to that stage where i needed to do that i don't mind to add a little bit here you know but when i say adding a little bit here i i have to do like a fat transfer be careful do not put foreign body in your body in your cell in your system those things will bounce back if you're ever gonna do a plastic surgery go and try to source out for a uh, fat transfer couple of a few months ago i did a video about the pros and cons of plastic surgery and the things that you need to know before you do plastic surgery so fast forward to this doing plastic surgery a lot of people that are out there thinking that oh i want to have a, a shape like kim kardashian for crying out loud you are a deep melanin woman who is blessed with a lot of voluptuousness around your hip area so i don't think that you really have to go and do that so that you can stand out who told you that there are no side effects of all the silicones that people put in their system let me tell you the bad effect of putting all those silicone either here or there okay when you put silicone remember it's a foreign body it's not it's not going to last forever after some time they begin to wither down they begin to 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 get weak get tired of staying in that place because there is no blood uh circulation in that area they begin to bother your organs your the good cells in your body a lot of time, even all these celebrities that we're trying to copy, they have to go back and forth either to take it off, to change the size. And let me tell you, if you go and do it today, maybe three, four, five years down the road, you find out that it's moving from one side to the other because it's sitting down there today. Maybe after two years, it's going to get weak. Those silicones will get weak and they begin to shift. Instead of being in the position where you think, instead of being in the position of the first day, after some years they begin to melt, they shift, they come slowly, slowly, and they can even break and get to the wrong side of your body. And then you might end up going for second or third surgery. Why do you want to do that to yourself? Just tell me, why? Who is deceiving you? Why do you want to go and do that to yourself? You, we are already contoured naturally to look good. And then you want to go and then we're going to do excess because you want to look like that. Don't get me wrong. It's your money. It's your body. Do whatever you want to do with that. But just make sure that you are aware of the side effects before you start doing this. And make sure that you know that there are a lot of maintenance that goes with with doing this a lot of doctors will not tell you the side effects it's your job to go and do your research to figure out what you can expect after one two three years of looking like that especially when you have it back here on your buttocks you sit down most of the time the more you sit down the more they press down and the more they begin to look flat or funny just like a bread that you just brought out of the oven. If you touch that bread, they will squeeze, just like bread or foam. So who told you that carrying extra watermelon behind you makes you look extra sexy? And again, you're gonna think about shopping. Some of the time when you go to shopping, it's very hard for you to find out 
what fits you and because the money is not penny it's not hundred dollars worth of stuff a lot of people endanger their lives by going to the quack doctors the people who are not even qualified few years ago there was a lady that lost her life because she was ingested with cement in her buttocks yeah she was injected with cement both behind here and also on her face so can you imagine the extreme people has to do just to look good guys i have a lot of playlists weight loss skin brightener i don't mean uh, skin bleaching skin brightener uh wrinkle remover all natural products that you can use to look good and don't go and start ingesting some more rice all this swallow mpobi isiewu all those food and then you'll be expecting yourself to have flat stomach instead of instead of uh, eating all these things and spending a lot of money and maybe and uh, lose your own life because you want to do uh, plastic surgery to look good why don't you cut down on your sugar, your carb, start exercising, start sleeping better, uh, drink a lot of water, cut down alcohol, cut down sugar, cut down, cut down white flowers, and exercise. A lot of people don't don't incorporate exercise in their daily living. It is very important. But like I told you guys, don't get me wrong. If I get to the stage where I want to do it, but Say what Katia Valino say. What I'm going to say here is that I would rather have fat transfer from my own body to other parts of my body. This is if I need, if I feel that I need that. I don't mind maybe years down the road, I don't mind taking a little bit of flesh or fat from here and here to fill in the lines here, you know. Sometimes never say never, but all I'm saying is that make sure you do your research before you go looking like a, a lady carrying an extra watermelon behind them. It, it, it doesn't look sexy at all. This is, this is the worst that I have ever seen. Oof. Guys, anyway, let me leave you guys. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart. See you guys in my next video. Au revoir, bye.